Now that you know your way around UEFN, let's start making the shooting gallery. This video is about building the gameplay part of the experience, and in UEFN, gameplay is created through devices. Each device handles a different gameplay element, like spawning vehicles, managing teams and classes, creating custom game modes, and more. We touched on player spawners earlier, so we have a place for players to arrive. Next, let's get a weapon in their hands. We'll use a device for this, so head to the Devices folder and drag the Item Granter device into your level. If you're ever wondering what a device does, you can right-click it and open the online documentation. With the Item Granter still selected, head over to the Details panel. Change the settings that are on screen. These let players keep whatever they already have when the Item Granter activates, gives players one of every item we will set up, and equips those items for the player. Now, let's choose the weapon. In the item list, click the plus sign, open the drop-down, and search for Assault Rifle. Add another array entry for ammo and choose the medium ammo for the Assault Rifle. With the item granter set up, let's activate and give the items to the player. In this case, we can connect the player's spawner to the item granter. Devices communicate with each other using events and functions. One device's event can be bound to another device's function, so that whenever the event happens, it will activate the assigned function. To bind these together, find the grant item function on the item granter. Then, from the drop-down, select the player spawner. Now, under the player spawner's box, choose the on player spawned event. Just like that, the two devices are now bound together, and players will spawn in locked and loaded. You can think of binding events and functions like creating chain reactions, and you aren't limited to only having one event or function bound to each other. You can trigger the same item granter from multiple player spawners, or trigger different devices at the same time when a player spawns in. We set up our player, gave them a weapon, now how about something to shoot at? Let's start building the shooting gallery. Shooting galleries need targets, and you'll need two different kinds. One that gives you points when hit, and one that takes points away. In the content browser, search Target and drag the target dummy track into your level. This will be a target that players get points for hitting. Change the settings to what is on screen. They set the look of the target to be round, hide the health bar in-game, and make it so that there's variance in how long it takes for them to reset after being hit. Want more targets? No need to start from scratch. Use the translation tool and hold Alt while dragging on any axis to make a copy with the same settings. Do this until you've got three. Now, let's add the targets you shouldn't hit. Grab the target dummy device and drop it in your level. This time, make the target a friendly teddy bear so it's clear not to shoot it. Then, change the settings to match what is on screen. Now it's time to keep players from cheesing the system by walking right up to the targets. Add a barrier device from the gameplay folder and place it around the targets to prevent players from getting close. In the details panel, adjust the depth, width, and height to fit your gallery. Set barrier material to clear and uncheck block weapon fire. All right, you've got a working shooting gallery, weapons, targets, and a player-proof barrier. Playtesting helps make sure everything's working the way you planned. Before launching, click the three dots next to the Launch Session button. Here's what the settings mean. Live Edit syncs changes from Fortnite to UEFN. Auto Start Game jumps right into the game when you launch. Auto Push Verse automatically updates verse code. For now, turn Auto Start Game on and click Launch Session. Once your island loads, you'll spawn in and the game will start. Time to test it out. Make sure targets pop up and down correctly, test the barrier a bit, and yep, everything feels smooth and fun. To stop the test, press Escape and End Game. Want to test again? Click Start Game or push Changes in UEFN to try your new edits. Nice work! You've built your first functional game in UEFN. Now it's time to level up this game with Verse in the next video.